Hello everybody, so today's video I will be showing you guys how I jump bridge on a mobile device using a keyboard and mouse. I don't know if it's actually possible for mobile players to jump bridge because I use a keyboard and mouse. You can see my screen, it's not edited, I swear. As you can see. Yes, they do work. So I suggest practicing this on a practice server or or a world because what I suggest worlds are a good place to practice your jump bridging because it has lags on servers but if you just got a new device and you have a lot of storage and you won't lag at all. So I'll be showing you how to jump bridge. Duh. So use any type of block you want. I use the birch wood planks because I don't know. So as you can see, this is what I built right here. Well, not built, we'll practice. So we're gonna go on this one because it's shorter. This one's a little shorter than it is. So for any server, first you need like at least like 32 or half a stack of of wool any of the, any block will work so see so we're gonna break these parts see so place one two and three blocks so make sure the two blocks are in front of you and the third block you're standing on place a block on top of it so these two are the blocks but then what you'll need to do is you'll need to practice I just learned this like a couple of like like I think an hour ago. It took it was like I did it on this third try. Pack this makes progress, so as you see in the two blocks, do not place anything and do not jump yet. Just walk first and then you can start sprinting. And but you although you have to like um you need to hold the button that you're gonna use for Placing, like the left click button, I use the left click to place the blocks, see, you can see, there you go, that's how I place them, and the right click for attack, so do this, so if you didn't understand there, two blocks in front of you remember, the third block is supposed to be what you're standing on and place a block on top of it. And it should look like this. This block, this part right here. Now that you got the two blocks in front of you, stand on the third block that you just placed. Dub I suggest to double your tap instead of CDRL tap because the CDRL way to sprint makes everything a little harder for you because the CDRL is a little far away from your last button or WASD button, so I suggest to W tap and hold down the button or mouse button that you use to place down the blocks. I use left click as I see. see. So then double your tap and then while you're W tapping hold down the button and then jump. So one, two, place, remember. Now hold the left click button or whatever button you use, see. I'm gonna hold the left click button. This is the left click button. So that's how you that's how you place things more faster. Hold down the button that you're gonna use. Remember, double your tap and hold the button you're gonna use for placing the blocks. If you didn't understand it properly, and keep jumping. Hold all of it together, and it'll like make a little line. And Remember, you cannot actually turn around into corners, otherwise it will turn out like this. Because you can only jump bridge in the one spot that you want, so you have to change and face something else. While if 
you're gonna do something. So we're gonna say we're gonna go here. One, two, three. Third block, please. And go. So you have to like uh, change, but while you're, and yeah, it takes like a couple of minutes. Or if you're if you just got a keyboard and mouse and you're new to using it, I suggest to practice playing with it first on the Hive servers or any type of servers that you can use for practicing for your keyboard and mouse. Remember, sadly, sadly, mouse supports only for Android 8 and up, which means Android 8, Android 9, Android 10, and Android 11, and higher, if the others will use fast enough, but Sadly, uh, I'm using a smaller device because my small device is an Android 8 and it has no support. So I use it mainly, mainly on Saturdays and Sundays. That's when I can use them. So, yeah. Probably Minecraft videos on using keyboard and mouse will be on Saturdays and Sundays. Since today is Saturday. Sunday, tomorrow Sunday, so I can probably record another video if I want to. So, please enjoy. I hope you enjoyed basically this how to jump bridge tutorial. It's very easy. I'll just show you one more time. So you, so we're gonna try to use a different block. It doesn't matter what type of block it is, as long as it's not too thin, too uh, too uh, short, too uh like these fences but you can use fences it's just that it's kind of like it's just like you're on a rope <laughs> but it doesn't matter so we're gonna use leaves if we can Let's see so one two three i'm using a texture pack by the way so place and see you can even do it with that I don't know about the fences though, so we're gonna try it out with the fences to see if they'll work. Oops, uh, let me do that. There you go. Now, we're gonna see if it can work with fences. One, remember this is pure vanilla. No, you cannot do it with fences because you have to hold the button right here. See, it's not that big of a, like, you have to crouch. And then one, two, and then three. It's kind of weird though. Okay. So, oh. If you fall off the fence, you cannot do it ever again. <laughs> Unless you're in creative mode, of course. Then you can. Yes, you can do it in fences, but it's kind of hard because it's like more weirdish kind of see you can like fall off the sides if you run a little too fast and too weirdly but yeah the keyboard and mouse i'm using is rapu or, re, or i don't know how you say that word but it's like r-a-p-p-o so yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go and end the outro with one more speed bridge or jump bridge sorry.